Zap Comics presents Top 10 Selling Books of the Week with Corey Brown. What's going on, everybody? What's up? Here with uh, Craigie here for the Top 10. Top 10 time. Top 10 Books of the Week. Yeah, for uh, November, Corey Brown. November 13th. Get ready for a big sale next week. I'm psyched. We got a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We've been be stuffing crazy. this store with so many books and toys. It's not even funny. I'm so stuffed with books and there's, toys. There's, not gonna be, there's never been this many books in the store ever for anything. It's like video kills. It's crazy. It's pretty crazy. So, all right. It was a pretty cool week. So, number 10 was Flash. Number 82, of course, DC is doing these acetate covers where they um, open up. This one's terrible. Yeah, this isn't a good one. Some are awesome. This one it's is just uh, two covers. Yeah, it's just two covers. So, it's supposed to reveal something, not like, you know, it's just two covers. It's not a good one. Uh, Star Wars number 74, this of course the second to last issue before they reboot it, 75 is going to be the last issue, I think comes out next week actually. So they're going to restart it, and speaking of Star Wars, Mandalorian, thank you very much, that show is fantastic. It's good stuff. I can't stop watching them, I watch both episodes I want them to take times. off that guy's helmet. I don't, I like it, keep it on for a little while. He's, to, he's a good looking guy, he yeah. should take his helmet off, at least once in a while. Well, maybe I'm he does. surprised, you know, usually like these actors, like it's a big thing. You know, nobody has their helmet on. Captain America, Spider-Man takes his freaking mask off well, that's every two a, seconds. It's just movies and unions and stuff like that. That's, that's what, I know. Different. But anyway, so number eight is Dollhouse number one. These Hill House comics, uh, Joe Hill, of course, Stephen King's son, are selling extremely well. This is kind of replacing the Vertigo line. The DC Black label kind of took it over, and this is like a new Vertigo-esque type stuff. So these are selling very well, which is really cool. So thank you, Joe Hill, for that. Uh, number seven is the Black Cat Annual, and uh, of course it's got a J. Scott Campbell. Wait, cover. what? So it's a you know a take on the wedding issue, the annual Spider-Man Annual number twenty-one, I think it is, or the wedding of With MJ. MJ. Now he's marrying Black Cat. I don't know if he's actually marrying her, but no. So spoilers, he didn't. There you go. Uh, number six is the Harley Quinn oh, Poison oh. Ivy connecting covers from this, David Finch. Uh, Where is he going? This way, yeah. David Finch, uh, they're doing the connecting covers for all these issues. Last one was uh, Warren Lau. Now it is David Finch. These are those, really nice. Those last ones didn't connect. Uh, they kind of did. The ones before didn't. They overlapped. So, no, the Warren Lau one, they just match. They match. They match. match. But anyways, so these connect and match. So there you go. That is David Finch. Thank you very much. I like David Finch. I do prefer his art on X-Men, but he's with DC now, so it's fine. Uh, number uh, five was Superman number 17. We did a limit of one per customer on this. Really? Uh, he's revealing uh, Clark Kent to the world, and apparently they, like Jimmy Olsen and them, don't don't believe it. So, 18 is gonna be a big one. Is this too. really the first time this has ever happened? I, I think like he actually does it. I think some people found out, but I think this is the first time he actually. I don't know. I'm not oh. a huge Superman guy. I don't know his whole his story, but I think they're finally like, getting rid of the Clark Kent thing. What? How many years? How many DC years is there now? So, like 100 years of DC, probably. And now they're just revealing his identity. Yes. Uh, Tales from the run. Tales from the Black, uh, Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Blackest Night. These sell very well. These, these multiverse books are awesome. Surprise. There's know. Square Bound, which is old school prestige format. And uh, they're it's really cool. neat. So these sell extremely well. Blackest Night was a fantastic series, too. I really like that. So, uh, Number three is our acetate cover that it was done correctly. This is Catwoman, nice. number 17. As you can see, she's looking in the mirror. Uh, wearing her newer clothes, and she can, she's looking at like all her friends, and because she is a kind of a hero, but and if you look, open it up, Opa. it's her old school stuff, her purple suit, uh, which I don't to. remember being this revealing, but anyways, and you see um, all the villains behind her, and this is a David Finch cover. She's just, you know, so this is this, button, is this is how it. Hang. This is <laughs> this is how acetate covers are supposed to work, unlike the Flash one. So they got this one right. But. Let them hang, Craig. Let them hang. Uh, number two was Fallen Angels, number one. Of course, the X books are on fire. It's a new book, new team. Pretty neat. You got uh, Psylocke there, X23, and a, it looks like a young Cable? It is. Because Cable, remember Cable died? I don't remember. Like, old Cable died, and then all of a sudden, boom, young Cable's in there. And there's something like that. I, don't remember I didn't that. read it, but I, I think that's what so. happened. So there you go. So that's pretty cool. And then number one, very easy guess, was X-Men. Number two, thank you to Jonathan Hickman. So X-Men is on top of the world again, like it was many, many years ago when X-Men ruled the world. So. There you have it. It's top ten. 
Next week's going to be a little bit tough doing one because we have the sale going on, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to make a video. So give him a break. Give so, him a break. Because the store is going to be bonkers. We might bonkers. Not. It's going to be so bonkers. Yeah. Maybe we do a live top 10. In the store? In the store with That's everyone. It. We can do one with the yeah. whole store. We'll see. We'll have an audience. They'll be yelling. Profanities yeah. and like, you know. It'll be interesting. You'll see the bird everywhere. Bird. I don't know. Yeah, the bird. Somebody's a bird. Oh, that bird. Yeah. So, and somebody's trying to break the door open because we're not open yet. So, I don't happen. But about, anyways. It's about time. Yeah. So this is Craig. This is Corey. Top 10 Zap Talk. See you guys at the shop. Bye, everybody. Leave them hanging. The fans are literally breaking the doors down to get to that sweet, sweet, succulent Corey Brown. Good night.